Are we live? Did it work? I think it worked. I think we're live. We are live. Somebody let me know. Hi guys, I'm Pandy. Um, this is my second time streaming on the Facebook live stream here on the Suicide Girls Facebook. So I vaguely know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi Seattle. Hi Rhode Island. <laughs> Hi everyone. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully you're good. Um, like I said, this is only my second time doing this. Facebook live stream for Suicide Girls. In fact, I've never done a live stream before this on Facebook. I've done plenty of other live streams, but never a Facebook one. So I didn't really know what I was doing. Hi, Mexico City. Favorite movie? Yeah. Okay, so my question for you guys is, <laughs> what's your favorite scary movie? It's my question of the day. Um, if you guys have any questions about Suicide Girls you want to ask me, you can go ahead and ask those. Maybe I'll answer them. It does need a new battery. <laughs> so last time I did my, um, is it really loud? Sorry guys. <laughs> last time I did the live stream outside because that thing kept squeaking, it's so loud. But uh, it's too hot out there. Can't think in this heat. I'm kind of a vampire. Hi Mexico City, hi Louisiana. Oh my God, it's gonna keep squeaking. Now I'm noticing it. Um, I need to fix it, but I'm not tall enough to reach it. I have to get someone to fix it for me. <laughs> Hellraiser. As above, so below. Do you like that one? Which Hellraiser? The first one, or there's a lot of Hellraisers. Your favorite scary movie is Saw. It's one of my favorite scary movies too. How do you become a suicide girl? Um, so you will. It's. I mean, it's a bit more involved than this, but basically, you're going to go to the website and apply, and um, you're going to shoot a photo set. And it's going to go into member review, and then if it gets chosen as set of the day, that's how you become a suicide girl. The Conjuring movies? Yes, I love the Conjuring movies, too. Thank you. I know, it's going to keep beeping. <laughs> I'll just throw something at it. If I perish in a fire, you guys will all know why. <laughs> Thirteen Ghosts. Hi Mexico. Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in on my second ever live stream here on the Suicide Girls Facebook. It was so much fun last time. I had to come back and do another one. <laughs> if I had the chance to be the main actress of a scary movie, what would it be and why? Bloodbath is what it would be. <laughs> That's a short film I made. You guys can watch it online if you want to check it out. It's free. It's on my Instagram um, or Twitter. You can find it at Pandy Suicide. The first one, Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead is a classic. Favorite horror movies or ones where you're actually scared? Um, both. I mean, are you scared of your favorite horror movies? I don't think I'm scared of my favorite horror movies. So that's a good question. It's a good distinction to make. Jeepers Creepers, The Strangers, that one was spooky. Hi, to North Africa. Jaws, the opening scene with the girls taking a late night swim. Yeah, Jaws, Jaws, back in the day when Jaws came out, was definitely, or like when I first saw it, it was a long time ago. <laughs> no, I don't. Vampire, yes. I'm a vegan vampire, guys. That's why I'm so pale. I look, for, I look like the same color as the wall in the background. <laughs> it's like almost blending in. Zombie, yes. Evil Dead, the original or the remake or the TV show <laughs> hi El Salvador the collector I really like the collector and the collection those are two movies I really like thanks for bringing that up forgot about those movies it was a good one I haven't played Friday the 13th the game yet everyone keeps telling me about how awesome it is I really want to play it I haven't played games a lot but for that one I would what kind of scary movie? Um, monsters, ghouls, vampires, zombies. All of the above or something different? Old school movies, Exorcist. The Exorcist is a good one. Um, in a lot of lists of like the scariest movies of all time, The Exorcist uh, constantly rates in the top 
Sometimes it's the first or the top ten. At least in lists I've read. I've read a lot of them. I am Pandy. Sorry, guys. I'm Pandy Suicide. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Um, there's a link on the, the intro to this live stream where you can see me on Suicide Girls, pandy.suicidegirls.com. Or you can find me on social media at Pandy Suicide. <laughs> Thank you, guys. The Shining. The Shining is a classic. I love The Shining. <laughs> Hi, guys. 1408? I don't know that one. The Changeling. <laughs> Um, like which movies do you mean specifically? You couldn't watch all of The Exorcist, it creeped you out. <laughs> Silent Hill, The Hills Have Eyes. Hills Have Eyes is, is creepy. I like The Hills Have Eyes. Do I like true based movies? Um, sometimes. No, there's a lot. Um, actually, on Suicide Girls, uh, we have a group because um, there's like a group so you can talk about stuff, and there's one on horror. Talk about all kinds of cool horror stuff if you guys like scary movies. Mm -mm. The thing, yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Little nightmares, no. Oh yes, Hysteria. It's one of my favorites too. A classic. Wolf Creek. Some scary Australian horror for you. I'm actually from New Zealand, so it's almost close to home. Not quite. Thank you. Do I like anime? Um, yes, but I don't really watch. I haven't really watched much anime. <laughs> In the background, there is this fire alarm, smoke alarm. It's chirping. It's very annoying. I'm sorry about that. I'm not tall enough to fix it. I have to get someone to come fix it for me. The tall person. The tall man. Evil Dead 2. Wait, I just missed the one before that. Your favorite monster was Vampires. The first movie you saw was Salem's Lot based off a Stephen King story. There's so many good Stephen King stories. There's so many movies about, uh, I mean, based on Stephen King stories. There's so many in TV shows. You bought the Exorcist DVD years ago to get to the turning head bit and turn it off. Oh no. <laughs> the Conjuring. Chucky. <laughs> the Notebook is your favorite scary movie? I've never seen The Notebook, but that's pretty funny. Can we get a shout out to Rob Zombie for finally being a horror director? He's directed a lot of films. I really like um, The Devil's Rejects. The original Carrie? Yes. What about It Follows? I liked It Follows a lot. Did you guys like it? Have you seen it? Interesting take on like a modern horror movie. High tension. They don't have SATs in New Zealand. But I have a college degree. Um, am I excited about the It remake? I am. I am actually. Sometimes with remakes and... Um, you know, like sequels or reimaginings of of movies. It's it's hard because if you really like the original one, sometimes you don't want to see it sort of messed with. But I'm I'm open to. It. I want to see what they're gonna do. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not at a zoo. <laughs> a zoo. I haven't been to a zoo in a really long time. I don't generally go there. Yeah, 31 was cool. I know, like I said, if 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 I mysteriously perish in a fire, you'll know what happened. Hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> I've seen that movie. It's definitely a classic. It's an interesting flick. How's the notebook not scary? I don't know, I haven't seen the notebook. <laughs> No, I don't actually get high. I'm completely straight edge. I don't even drink. 
It was just me naturally. <laughs> I think it's also, it's really hot. My brain's a little slow on the heat. Sorry about that, guys. I Spit on Your Grave. <laughs> That's an intense movie. Um, the Conjuring, yes. High Tension. <laughs> Kevin in the Woods, yes. I like Kevin in the Woods. You just added Pennywise the Clown to your horror sleeves? That's cool. Do I like Saw? The Saw franchise is one of my favorites. Um, well, obviously, especially the original. They're all, they're all pretty fun. I don't actually have black eyes. My eyes are hazel. They just look black right now, possibly because I may be a vampire. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Italy. The shack, no. <laughs> Where am I from? So, originally, I'm from New Zealand, but I'm not there currently. That's why my accent sounds all weird sometimes. The notebook isn't scary, it just slowly kills you inside my watch. That's not very nice. Although I haven't seen it, so I can't comment. <laughs> Human Centipede was a good movie, not sure you'd class it as horror. What would you class it as? <laughs> Power Razor, yes, we were just talking about that before. More psychological. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. It's very um, exciting hearing about your favorite horror movies. And if you guys want to talk about anything related to Suicide Girls, if you have any questions about that, let me know. My fire alarm is definitely dying. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't really have... A lot of piercings. I'm more about the tattoos, I guess. Although I like them, just don't really have them. Night of the Living Dead, yes. What movie scared me the most? Um, I don't know, but I find stuff that's supernatural to be the scariest. That doesn't mean it's my favorite style of movie. The, the type of movie that I like the most is really bloody, <laughs> gory movies. Like, um, serial killer movies or slasher movies or, you know, like Saw or Hostel or movies like that with a lot of blood. <laughs> um, and what else? What else? You know, all the classics like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and everything. But what I truly find terrifying sometimes is um, really supernatural stuff. Actually, the scariest movie I'm going to tell you that I ever saw was The Ring. The original The Ring, the Japanese version. Because I was watching it, um, yeah, the first hostel. Actually, I think the second hostel is my favorite, although I really like the first hostel. An American Werewolf in London, yes. <laughs> uh, the, the Japanese version of The Ring, that terrified me the first time I saw it. Because I was watching it with someone, and they fell asleep halfway through. So it was basically like I was alone. Um, and then I didn't have a remote, so I had to go up and turn the, the thing off myself, the TV. And they were static going, I was getting really freaked out. Any Skull Girls type tattoos? What do you mean? I have a girl over here that has, she has some Day of the Dead skulls. If that's what you mean. Event Horizon. Um, do I watch anime? Not really. Someone asked me this before. I don't, I mean, I like what I've seen, but it's not something I really watch that often. Yes, I love The Devil's Rejects. Why, why do I prefer horror movies? That's a good question. Why do you guys prefer? Or why do you guys like horror movies? It's a question that I get asked a lot um, in interviews and stuff like that. I don't know why exactly people like horror movies. Uh, Alien. Yes, Alien is a classic. Old Italian horror movies are worth checking out. Definitely. Planet Terror is super I really liked Planet Terror. <laughs> <laughs> the original the fog freaked you out as can okay I did have an answer for the question that I was just asked um, let me think of what it is it's so hot guys I can't think properly in this heat I really think I am a vampire <laughs> thank you you like war movies thank you 
Sleepwalkers. I don't know if I have seen that one. Sorry, Eyes is good. I like that movie. A lot. <laughs> Army of Darkness? Yes. Because horror movies are awesome? Yeah. You prefer comedy movies? I don't know. I have a thing for, I guess, the blood in horror movies. It, which is really weird because I'm, like, super vegan. <laughs> but for some reason, I like it when movies are really bloody. Scene of terror that I would love. You can't see my tattoos. Well, you can see them on suicidegirls.com. If you become a member, uh, you can go to pandy.suicidegirls.com to see all of them. That's true. I think it does take you outside of yourself um, into something. <laughs> you're not worrying about yourself or, your, or anything anymore because you're worried about the scary ghosts and the serial killers on the screen. Thank you. Cabin fever. Yep, super vegan. Like level 10. Level 100. <laughs> well, not that hardcore, but close. Necromantic. I have never seen Necromantic. What's my favorite series? Like, of films? Or you mean a TV series? <laughs> Hi, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Where is my favorite tattoo? Probably the one on my arm. This one. My Lucha Lady. Necromantic is so weird. <laughs> I look like Wednesday. Well, it is a Wednesday, so... <laughs> Funny you should say that. Good evening. Vikings, you mean the TV show? My favorite TV shows, um, I really like Dexter, obviously, because there's a lot of blood and serial killer, a serial killer in that one. Um, what else? Breaking Bad, obviously. Uh, Zach Efron's playing Ted Bundy. I think he's going to be very interesting as Ted Bundy. I worked with him once on something. Um, and even though he usually plays very kind of clean-cut characters, I feel like it'll be interesting. I don't know. Who knows? But I, I'm, I'm interested to see it. <laughs> Dexter was very awesome. Um, Breaking Bad is also one of my favorites, and Californication. What else? Tell me some TV shows so I can tell you if, if I like it. I just... It's just blanked out of my mind. I'm thinking about movies. Human Centipede, Hellraiser. Castle Freak or Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Nice. Some old school classics. A novice male model. I don't know much about male modeling. I'm sorry. Pinhead. Delamore, Delamore, and The Changeling. Nice. Don't Breathe. I haven't seen Don't Breathe yet. I really want to. Everyone's talking about how great it is. You know, I didn't watch the last two episodes of Dexter. I almost got there and I was like, I don't know if I can watch this. I don't know if I can let this end. <laughs> Supernatural. Oh yeah, I like Supernatural. Two Broke Girls. It's funny, I was just watching this movie starring Kat Denning. Um... It's called Suburban Gothic. Oh yeah, Sons of Anarchy, obviously, it's good. <laughs> Legally Blonde is your favorite scary movie? <laughs> Two Broke Girls was good. It's really good. I auditioned for that show once for like a, a really small role. I didn't book it, but <laughs> it was fun to audition. I haven't watched Sherlock yet. Don't Breathe is kind of like Home Alone with adults. You know, Home Alone is the first, uh, one of the first movies I remember seeing. Other, well, maybe it was Jaws. It was one of the, but it's one of the first movies I remember seeing when I was young. Very vividly. Yes, I'm excited about this with Leonardo DiCaprio. Hellboy 2. Anything Rob Zombie. I'm a big fan of The Devil's Rejects. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Hi, Italy. Hi, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This has been a really exciting live stream so far. Yeah, I did like Sons of Anarchy. Um, originally from New Zealand, but currently I am in California. Well, actually, I could be anywhere in this weird white room. <laughs> has anyone seen the movie Beyond the Black Rainbow? 
Narcos. I've only seen a few episodes of that. I should really watch it again. But, I mean, it was good. <laughs> yeah, Devil's Rejects. Hi, Pokemon. I'm actually not a Pokemon. Or is Pokemon... I'm confused. A Cenobite cosplay? No, that would be cool. I don't do a lot of cosplay, but I feel like that would actually be a cool one to do. Good suggestion. Donnie Darko. Yes, I love Donnie Darko. Santa Clarita Diet was so good. Does anybody say I look like Wednesday <laughs> Adam's family? Thank you. Once or twice. Hi. Hi, guys. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> no. No habla espanol. Although, it's kind of funny. I recently was a guest on a Spanish-speaking TV show, like a late-night talk show called Noches con Platanito. And I don't speak any Spanish, so it was, they only speak Spanish on that show, so it was very interesting. It was cool, though. Thirteen Ghosts. You're creeped out by dolls. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really creeped out by dolls. I'm, what am I creeped out about? Mm, well, like I said, the ring I found terrifying. So, creepy things that crawl out of the TV are definitely scary. <laughs> to me. You're just watching Suspiria today? Nice. Um, excited for the remake of It, yes. And Beetlejuice. I don't know if they're really doing that. Is that a real thing? I thought that was not real. More of my tattoos. Um, you can see my tattoos on suicidegirls.com. It's hard to show them in this live stream. But there's one or two. But otherwise, you can go uh, to pandy.suicidegirls.com. Thank you. Yeah, I got interviewed on Notches Con Platinito with... Um, I think it's the same episode as George Lopez is on. A uh, few... It wasn't that long ago. Child's Play, yeah. Dolls are your weakness? You've literally seen dolls move on their own, so nope, dolls are no... That sounds terrifying. <laughs> I would be scared of dolls too, then. I went back to black? Yes. 99.9% .9 of my wardrobe is black. Actually, that's not true. It's like 90%. <laughs> Yeah, I want to see The Dark Tower. Um, wait, is it a movie or is it... Yeah, it's a movie, right? It definitely needs a battery. I need someone really tall to change it. I can't reach it. <laughs> Thank you. Why not ride is going to be in it again? Did you, guys, um, did you guys watch Stranger Things? That's another TV show I really like. I didn't even think of it. Oh, and Mr. Robot, that's another one I really liked. At what age did I start tattooing? Yes, Saw is one of my favorites. Um, I don't tattoo, but I started getting tattoos at age 20. <laughs> Elvira. I don't know when Suicide Girls is going to make another movie, but I personally make movies too. Horror movies. If you guys want, you can look up my uh, short film Bloodbath. Just look up Pandy Suicide Bloodbath and you'll find it. All about everything, yes. Actually, it's on my Suicide Girls blog. If you go to pandy.suicidegirls.com uh, and look at the latest blog entry, you'll see it. A vampire? I possibly may be. I'm actually mildly convinced that I am a vampire. I'm a vegan vampire, though. <laughs> I only drink plant blood. Should I see the new ring? Yes. Honestly, I was terrified when I saw the Japanese version of the ring the first time. I already told the story, so I'm not going to repeat it because everyone will get bored, but it was terrifying. Stranger Things is so good. <laughs> I actually went to a, a screening of it uh, a week or two ago with a Q&A with the, the cast and the creators, the Duffer Brothers. And one of the executive producers and the actors. So it had all the all the little boys were there. And Eleven, she was there. It was amazing. They were so cute. I know what you did last summer. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah, I heard about this Suspiria remake, but is it? I don't know if it's actually a, a remake or like a sequel or inspired by. I don't know enough about it. I Zombie Show. I've only seen an episode or two of that, but it was it was cool. I liked it. Maybe I should watch that again. Thank you for the reminder. All the paranormal activity movies. Okay, those scared me. <laughs> I am scared of the supernatural stuff. Although, that's not my favorite type of movie. I, I like them, but my favorite type is with a lot of blood. Blood and guts. <laughs> you still have yet to watch Stranger Things. You need to watch it. You should. <laughs> no. Would I be in a Rob Zombie movie? Of course. I'd love to. <laughs> Hi, Chile. Kill Bill is amazing, too. <laughs> the Changeling. Yeah, people keep talking about the Changeling. Blood, yes, blood is my favorite. Like, for some reason, any time I sit down to write something or I do a shoot, I somehow end up covered in blood. It's like my subconscious wants that. <laughs> it's very weird. Rob Zombie's remake of Halloween? Yes. I liked it. Oh, Evil Dead 2? I did like Sense 8. I think I've only seen the first season, but I really liked it. Thanks for reminding me. I have to go back and watch season 2. How old were you when you saw the Saw movies? My smoke alarm is dope. It's so annoying. I'm sorry, guys. If I do another live stream, I'll try to have it fixed for that. You don't know a lot of bloody movies or horror. That's okay. We can talk about Suicide Girl stuff if you guys have any questions. The original Texas Chainsaw, yes. I like Tex Texas Chainsaw Massacre too as well. Dawn of the Dead. Even though it's like a way different um, tone, I feel like. <laughs> Show goes. Quentin Tarantino. Definitely a fan of Tarantino. Toolbox Murders 3. You know, I haven't seen the Toolbox Murders. I need to watch that. I think someone I know is in that. <laughs> it's absolutely frightening. No, it wants me to change the battery, but I can't reach it, and so I need to find someone <laughs> tall to change it for me. I've actually never taken Adderall. I'm straight edge. I don't take anything. Do I do any pinup photos? I do. Um, if you go to suicidegirls.com, panty.suicidegirls, you can see some of my um, modeling for them. You can check out my Instagram, at pandysuicide. American Gods, yes. I just saw the first episode of American Gods. I went to a screening of it, um, which had all the most of the main actors from it. It was a raucous Q&A at the end. They were hilarious. <laughs> they're funny um, but it was really cool you were 11 going on 12 when you saw Saw oh my god <laughs> Japanese horror movies and you've lost your sleep <laughs> definitely like I said the ring the Japanese version of the ring terrifying what about anything paranormal stuff documentaries or movies sometimes I like those but I get creeped out by those <laughs> oh <laughs> you thought that was yours? Smoke detector? Sorry, it's mine. Um, my chest tattoo, you can see it on Suicide Girls. American Gods is so awesome. I, like I said, I only saw the first episode at a screening. Um, but I think I'm going to get... What is it on? Stars? Or whatever it's on. I think I'm going to get that just to watch it. Because it was so good. Um, I loved all the shots of the blood. I know that sounds creepy, but they just looked really beautiful and cinematic. <laughs> Um, I don't know. 
definitely did like Heath Ledger. Um, but I, uh, I don't know. It's a hard question. Night of the Gargoyles. <laughs> I haven't seen that one, but it sounds amazing. Hi, Germany. Where am I from? Originally, I'm from New Zealand, but I'm not there currently. I'm trapped in this white room with this thing that keeps beeping. <laughs> the original Blair Witch Project. The Ring vs. the Grudge. I don't know. The, the Blair Witch Project was kind of scary when I saw it at the time. Because you didn't know that it was a found footage film. When you think that it's real, it's more scary. Fatal Attraction. <laughs> Psychic kids. No! Was it creepy? Hi, guys. <laughs> Even my teeth look like vampire teeth. Because they are. <laughs> What's it like being a CSI girl? It's very, very awesome. The first Insidious is the best. I liked Insidious a lot. And Natural Born Killers is one of my favorites, actually, of all time. Um... Being a suicide girl is awesome. It's one of the best decisions I think I've ever made in my life. It's a really great community to be a part of. Um, some of my best friends I've either met through suicide girls or they are suicide girls. Insidious. And it's really cool. Uh, you get to shoot sets that are the style that you want. You know, you have a lot of um, creative control over it. You hate when movies are scary when you're young or for the first time, but later on they lose their magic. Yeah. Well, I think part of the reason why scary movies can be scary is because you don't know what's happening. You don't know, like, it's the unexpected, so if you already know what's going to happen, it loses a bit of that, right? Original vampire law or this new type of law with sun walking? Well, I mean, it makes it more convenient for the vampires if they can walk in the sun. All Blacks, yes. If you guys don't know, that's the New Zealand rugby team. Pretty awesome. <laughs> no, thank you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. It was super fun the last time that I did this um, Facebook live stream for Suicide Girls, so I thought I'd do another one because I enjoyed it. Creepers, creepers. What? Yeah, sorry, I do miss things you're saying sometimes. I did like the Underworld movies. Do you, do you guys like them? Psychic kids. Five and six-year-old kids. <laughs> I have to check it out. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. Does New Zealand have a lot of haunted history? Um, not that I know. That's an interesting question. I kind of want to look into that. If you want to know what New Zealand's really like, you should watch What We Do in the Shadows. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, no. Friday the 13th. How long have I been a suicide girl? A really long time. I became a suicide girl in New Zealand. Actually. It's quite a while ago. Scary movie too. How about David Lynch? I know. The new Twin Peaks is amazing. I've only watched the first two episodes. I really want to watch the rest. Haven't done it yet. Um actually worked with David Lynch once on a music video that he was directing for his own song, Crazy Clown Time. Pretty amazing. Definitely a huge David Lynch fan. The Ring. The Ring's terrifying. <laughs> it's absolutely terrifying. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's a bad sign if a vampire is smiling at you. It means you don't have long... <laughs> <laughs> You're not long for this world. Unless they're a vegan vampire like me, then you might be safe. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, I'm also a Kate Beckinsale fan. <laughs> haunted tours. I feel like I'd be scared on a haunted tour. I mean, that's the whole point, right?
What if the vampire turns you into a vampire? Well, then you're fine. What was the first horror movie I saw? It's possibly Jaws. Or, I remember, this is not horror, but the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's not really horror, but it's got horror in the name. I remember seeing that a lot <laughs> when I was young. <laughs> um, and also a lot of, what do you call them? Peter Jackson's earlier horror splatter kind of movies. I was raised on those because they played a lot in New Zealand. Like, Brain Dead is, or Dead Alive. Um... They didn't really have hopefuls the same way that they do now when I became a suicide girl. Slightly different. Well, some people define it as the horror movie. I mean, I mean it is, like, suspenseful, too. Like, this smoke alarm is holding us all in suspense. <laughs> Do I like Grindhouse movies? Yes. <laughs> I know, everything's on fire. What am I going to do if the smoke alarm doesn't work? Yeah, I do want to see this new It movie. Christine, yes! <laughs> Have you guys seen, oh, what's that movie? House of the Devil? I like that one. Bad Taste is a great movie. I agree. Awesome. Congrats on becoming a hopeful, and hopefully you will uh, become a suicide girl. You are. Hi, Holden. <laughs> the new Child's Play sequel, Cult of Chucky. Thank you. I I am on fire. <laughs> That's the real reason why the smoke alarm keeps squeaking. Blood Drive, have you seen it? Did you like it? Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> I am a fan of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Any events or appearances coming up? Um... Well, there's the Suicide Girls Blackheart Burlesque Tour. That I think they have one more show on this run. Did anyone check out the Black Heart Burlesque? Night Terrorizer? Okay, Night Terrorizer uh, is a short film I just made, guys, that I wrote and produced, and I'm in, in it. It's really short. It's like 90 seconds long. Super short. Micro short. Uh, I don't know when we're going to see it. Hopefully soon. It's done. I'm just waiting. <laughs> I know I need to change the battery. Um, I'm just waiting to find out where it's going to premiere online. Uh, but I also have a vampire feature film that I've written that I'm about to start casting and making happen. So that's exciting. No response? I, sorry, I keep missing things you're saying. The words scroll by really quickly. <laughs> Thank you. Hi guys! You just saw Crazy Clown Time on YouTube? <laughs> hi hi guys thanks for tuning in to my second ever live stream on the suicide girls facebook live <laughs> yes everyone needs to watch my short film bloodbath thank you well if you like horror maybe you'll like it there's a lot of blood in it though guys if you don't like blood and horror don't watch it <laughs> The car was scary to you? Um, what's new with me is that we're live streaming here on the Facebook Live for Suicide Girls. <laughs> Thank you. How do you become a Suicide Girl? Um, well, there's a little bit more to it than this, but basically, go to suicidegirls.com and you apply to be a Suicide Girl. And then you're going to shoot a shoot a set and it's going to go to member review. It takes a while for this to all happen and you have to work with a photographer. Um, and if it gets chosen as a set of the day, you become a suicide girl. I like wrong turn. Hi, Argentina. You love blood 100%. Me too, which is really weird considering I'm vegan. But I only like it when it's vegan blood. 
mostly. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to do some more live streams because it's super fun. Nothing has scared you? Nothing? Hellraiser is your favorite? Vegan blood. Uh, sorry, just checking or something. I do like horror a lot, especially kind of slasher serial killer flicks. Health of Skelter. <laughs> Did I meet the Stranger Things? No, I didn't meet them, but. They're amazing. Killer clowns from outer space. Yes. I love Evil Dead. Both the original and the, rem the remake. Can't even talk properly right now. What's going on? Mm, it's not. <laughs> you might be able to find it in some movies I'm in. Maybe. Oh yeah, Amityville Horror. <laughs> it's my favorite band. It's a hard question, but I really like death metal. Metal in general, black metal, thrash metal, etc. So, Cannibal Corpse is one of my favorite um, bands. It's Slayer, I guess. Um, but I like other stuff too. It's not just middle. Poltergeist. I do love death metal. You love heavy metal music too. Awesome. But I like other stuff. Um, you know, like rock and punk sometimes. Sometimes hip hop. Sometimes. Sometimes. I don't know. Uh, the original Alien movie is your favorite horror sci-fi. What's my favorite horror movie? I like movies with a lot of blood, as I was saying, like the Saw movies and Hostel and American Psycho. Fresh Meat. I haven't seen that one. I have to check it out. Friday the 13th. But I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, all the classic slasher flicks. Um, but also lots of other stuff, too. I am great, thank you, how are you? Hi Mexico. 31 is your favorite? That's the new Rob Zombie movie. You guys, you guys seen it? You love the Saw movies? Good night mommy, that was, that was creepy. You've seen them all. I'm trying to think, what else? What are some weird movies that I've seen lately? Oh, there was a movie that I really like. It's like an independent film that I don't think a lot of people have seen. What is it called? Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's about a serial killer. No, there's a director who catches a real serial killer and wants to put him in his movie. What is it called? I can't think right now. Um, 13 Ghosts. Evil Dead. Don't watch It Comes at Night. You don't like it? Original Texas Chainsaw, yes. Last Shift, yeah, that, I like that one. <laughs> Definitely a classic. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm about to sign out shortly. I haven't seen it yet. Um, what's the time? I'm gonna sign out in a couple minutes. What's the film I'm talking about? I don't even know what the film I'm talking about, so I'll be very impressed if you know. What's for lunch? I don't know. Some kind of vegan blood. <laughs> vegan vampire food. Plant blood. John Carpenter's The Thing, yes, amazing. 
Mm, it's not that movie. <laughs> It's, oh my god. No, that's not the one I was talking about. Martyr? Martyrs. Um, thank you. <laughs> what really scares you is shows like The Bachelor. <laughs> Christine. Yes, Christine's a classic. Wishmaster. Yeah, it's my favorite snack. Had an acai bowl for breakfast. It was amazing. It was the best thing in the world. Mayhem? The band? Yes. Or just general mischief and mayhem. <laughs> Hills have eyes. Definitely creepy. <laughs> Evil Dead, yes. Have you guys been watching the Evil Dead TV series? It's actually filmed in New Zealand, where I'm from. I do have some teeth, yes. All my own. Oh wait, you mean the movie teeth? You mean the movie teeth? That was a... <laughs> If you mean the movie teeth, then that's a whole other thing. Thank you. Chucky. Thank you. That, yeah, I feel like that's more scary if you're a guy. <laughs> uh, where am I from? Originally I'm from New Zealand, but I'm not there currently. Oh my god, I'm so pale! And this, like, I'm like the same color as the wall. I'm vanishing, a vanishing vegan vampire. Alien Covenant? No, I haven't seen it yet. I want to. It. It. Hi, guys. Let us know your favorite uh, scary movie. Favorite horror movie. Or we can talk about Suicide Girl stuff if you have questions. But I'm going to be signing out in just a couple of minutes. Uh, the Shining, yes. I don't know when I'm going to be streaming next. <laughs> next on the Facebook. But hopefully soon. I may be streaming on the Suicide Girls Instagram Live at some point in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. Video games. What about video games? Uh, if you want to see my tattoos, you can go to suicidegirls.com, pandy.suicidegirls.com is the link in the description. You can see all my tattoos there. Thank you. Uh, I haven't shot a set for Suicide Girls in a while. I'm thinking of shooting another one. I'm actually thinking this movie I'm going to make, um, it's a vampire movie called Of Bloody Dreams. It's a feature film. I'm in the very early stages of making that happen. I'm thinking it'd be cool to shoot a set as the character that I'm going to play. So it'd be like cosplaying myself. <laughs> and shoot a Suicide Girl set um, as that character on the set of the movie. I think that could be cool. What do you guys think? The editor? No. Shock Value. You guys should check out Shock Value if you haven't. It's like an independent horror film. If you like, you know, indie horror films, I think you'll like it. Especially ones that are bloody. It's, it's funny. To me, it's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be scary, I don't know. <laughs> don't get sued for cosplaying myself. Okay. Yes, the ring is terrifying. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Let me signing out here in just a second. Thank you. I do actually act in a lot of things. A lot of music videos, but lately more horror movies and stuff. My Instagram name is at pandysuicide. P-A-N-D-I-E suicide. 
it's all my social media if you guys want to check it out. And make sure you're following Suicide Girls here, obviously. You probably are if you're watching this, but I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. Hopefully I will be back on the Facebook Live here soon. Uh, but watch out for me on the Suicide Girls Instagram, too. I might be there live at some point soon. Carolyn. <laughs> yes. Alien. Fix that beep. It's been like that for so long. I just tune it out at this point. I'm not tall enough to reach it. Even with like a chair or something. I can't reach it. It's too tall. I need a really tall person to fix it. My name is Pandy. P-A-N-D-I-E. Pandy.suicidegirls.com or on social media at Pandy Suicide. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to sign out right now. See you guys next time. Bye.